to all the people that really go through the hard time right now. Sierra Leone, Liberia, Guinea, Nigeria, and all over West Africa, Africa. If only me and you, play we part. For fight against the sickness, we go wipe them out. Like brothers and sisters, one family. Put your country first, left the corner talk. Yeah, we think about the solution. Find the solution for every country. They say that, say this He said that, mama, son, oh, that we go oh, If you play your own part Then I play me own part If we play all we parts together With no politics, profess the disease If you play your own part Then I play me own part If we play all we parts together With no politics, profess the disease Hello, welcome to the Wire Radio Show. My name is Hassan Iftoni, and today my guest is actress and master of ceremonies. She has also been in 20 movies out of Sierra Leone and has worked with the biggest and greatest actors and actresses out of Sierra Leone. Her name is Henrietta Mbawa, a.k.a. Etta, how are you doing today, Etta? Uh, by his grace, I'm doing well. The only thing, it's raining here in Sierra Leone. The weather is so cold. But God is in control. Other than that, uh, I'm doing fine. Good, good, good. I'm happy to hear that. Well, um, I'm sure you have already heard the rumors that are going around concerning this 100 million euros that the government gave to the um, entertainment industry and there was a report that um, came out a couple of days ago with your name on it as one of the people that received this morning can you please um, explain your involvement first of all uh, I want to say this is a shame it's such a shame for Sierra Leoneans to use the Ebola epidemic in Sierra Leone as a way to enrich themselves. It's hard time, Sierra Leoneans. We need to go back to the drawing board and see what is missing in Sierra Leone. With everything we have, we have the gold, the diamonds and everything, and yet still, we still have people that are going to sleep every night without uh, three square meals. We need to go back to the drawing board and ask. And 
this thing of greed, selfishness, we need to put it behind ourselves. Let's give honor to those who honor our due and stop the pulling down syndrome. I've never received a damn from the president. I've never received a cent from the president in regards to Ebola. Whatever I've done so far in regards to Ebola sensitization has been done wholly and solely by myself and a friend called Atika Foyo. He's a musician and a comedian with an organization that we have. We're running a organization called Western Area Eastern Entertainers. We did a three-day sensitization on Ebola. So far, to my knowledge, I've done so many, I've been involved in so many Ebola sensitization campaign in Sierra Leone, and I've done it for free. I did not collect a dime from anybody. So this woman of me being involved, myself and some other stakeholders in the entertainment industry, that we collected money from the president, all in the name of doing Ebola uh, sensitization. It's all lies. Where the rumor is coming from, I don't know. And if they are sure, they have their fact. And they said it's a rumor that is coming from State House. I guess this is a very serious issue. When this issue came out, why didn't they mention the name of their source? When it came out, where did this issue came out? They say state house. If it has to do with the president and they said the president issued out 100 million euros to us, then it's hard time they came out and tell us who the person from state house is that told them that the president gave us money on behalf of the entertainment industry to do a sensitization campaign on Ebola. So far, the answer is no. I've not received a damn from the president to do any sensitization on Ebola. All right, um, I understand where you're coming from. There's a man by the name of CCM Kamara that was on SLBC, the Good Morning Show, live on national television this morning. That, um, uh, you know, well, the reports are now saying that this is the man that received the money from the government. Do you know this man, Mr. CCM Kamara? I know uh, Cecil Kamara, but I guess you're uh, misunderstanding the whole thing. Cecil did not say he received money. On, on TV this morning because I, I, I heard people called me and told me that this is what Ceci said he was on TV and all that uh, when I called him I couldn't reach him so I had to call uh, Arthur a friend of Cecil and I explained I told Arthur everything that I heard people called me and said about Ceci being on TV and what he said that the money was given to them and he received it and when I asked Arthur said it was a lie that was not what Ceci said Ceci said the money was received by uh, Solywood and now it doesn't have to do with uh, the likes of um, Box selling Kista or Collab or the, or the rest. It was, uh, the money uh, was received by me from the president directly and uh, it was meant for an Ebola sensitization and I received the money on behalf of Sollywood. And that was what Atta said that Ceci, that was what Ceci uh, said on telly. Wow, wow. Thank you very much, Eta, for um, clearing up the issue concerning Ceci and his interview on SLBC Good Morning Show this morning. Now, my next question is, is Solowood using this money properly? My dear, where is all this thing coming from? No money was given to Solowood. People just want... That's a reunion for you. Why on earth would they 
make a story like this. First, okay, it was myself and some other stakeholders that were being called that we received the money on behalf of the entertainment industry. Now, they shifted the whole thing from the other stakeholders. Now, it's myself. I took the money on behalf of Sollywood. Like, seriously? I don't know where all these things are coming from, but it's it's not good. People should just stop what they are doing. Ebola is a sensitive, this is a serious issue. You can't just treat uh, uh, people like this. I've done my best. I've been going on the street. I've been risking my life, myself and my colleagues. We're going out there to sensitize people. Nobody has been giving us money. Nobody is paying us. I've never received any cents from anybody. And yet, see, people are making claims. People are making accusations that I've collected money. From who? People should just stop all this. It's really, it's not good. This is so unfair. All right, Eta. Thank you very much for clearing up um, your part, your name, in this whole um, 100 million Leon's money for Ebola. I thank you very much. I'm sure right now, whoever's listening or whoever wants to know, knows where you stand in this whole thing. All right. So um, let's talk about your projects now. Do you have anything that you're working on right now that you would like the people of Sierra Leone to know about? Thank you very much, my dear, for giving me the opportunity to clear my name. Uh, I'm working on my own project right now. I want to start producing my own movies and I'm working on producing a TV show very soon. Uh, I'm starting a TV show. It's on tourism and the other one is on teenage pregnancy and I've done a movie I wrote and directed that movie. It's on teenage pregnancy. It's coming out soon from now to December. That's by the way, and I've done a couple of movies with some other people with AYV, but that is yet to come out, and other production houses in Sierra Leone. I've done a couple of movies, but right now, as it is, everything is on hold because of the Ebola. I was to uh, go for, represent Sierra Leone for Big Brother this year. I qualified and yet still they had to cancel. They had to disqualify us because of this Ebola thing. So right now, nothing much is happening because of this Ebola. We're all just we hoping and praying that one day we wake up one morning and realize that it's over. All right, Eta, I want to thank you again for your time and for doing this interview definitely appreciate your time and I look forward to seeing your projects out there God bless